I'm Eric Parker. I'm the writer, producer of Time Is Illmatic. I'm One Nine. I'm the director, producer of Time Is Illmatic. And what brings us here to Philly is uh, we're showing the uh, Time Is Illmatic to the Black Star Film Festival. We want to show a lot of love to what they do for film, what they do for community, what they do for culture, and it's important that we have our film play here. Along came my son Nas, you know. I just felt like a king was born. Every rhyme was like the best I ever heard in my life. Eight, nine, ten years old, we're talking about the devil and God. Ain't nobody was really rhyming like that back then. How many people have ill married? One, two, three. Time is Illmatic is a story of Nasir Jones' first album, Illmatic, but we use the album to get at the social issues that influence its creation. Actually, I bought the cassette. Um, I bought the cassette tape to Illmatic, and I played about maybe two or three tracks, and I couldn't get through them all the way. I kept rewinding it. I was like, I think I may have broke my rewind button. It was just like, I was like, oh my God, what did he just say? And I was like, rewinding, playing, rewinding, playing. And then I sat down with a whole bunch of my friends uh, who were just you know, fanatics about you know, raw lyrical skills. And I think we played that album over and over in a real hazy room. It was just something special. <laughs> I, I, I first bought Illmatic on cassette tape. Cassette tape, before, before I bought it on CD. Played it so much that it popped. I probably bought Illmatic seven times in my life. <laughs> on cassette tape about four, DVD about three, because you lose them. You know, something like that. Somebody comes over and they come up missing. Something like that happens. So I, I bought Illmatic many times over in my life. Cassette tape, you burn it out, you know, or you get it in the box when it eats tapes, something to that effect. But, you know, when I, my first reaction to Illmatic was the poetry that he was saying. It was so deep because it was so layered, but it spoke to us in our language. It was poetry, but it was also our language and high poetry. I think Illmatic is still relevant today it's, it's, it's like any great piece of art, it gets more relevant over time. It doesn't shrink, it grows, it gets more complex. It gets, you, you learn more from it than you did the first time it came out. So now you listen to Illmatic, you learn more about who we are and who we were then and, and the context it was in the world. So it tells you so much more about the world we lived in then, now than it did then. I mean, to echo what Eric was saying, it, Illmatic is a timeless album because it speaks to a generation that it doesn't age. I mean, you can listen to what he's saying lyrically. You can listen to the acapellas. You can listen to the instrumentals. And we can't forget the production on this album was just, at that time, you had some of the best producers in hip hop making some of their best tracks that they felt connected with his lyrical skill. But again, it's like it connects to, to issues that transcend time and, and generation. I mean, if you look at Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, that album still holds weight many years, like almost 40 years later. It's like, there's certain albums that really speak to a generation, and this was one of them, and this will always stand the test of time as the one of the greatest albums ever made. When I made Elmatic, I was trying to make the perfect album. It comes from the days of Wild Style. I was trying to make you experience my life. I wanted you to look at hip hop differently. I wanted you to feel that hip hop was changing and becoming something more real. Our culture has many layers to it. It's not just about music. It's not just about a one dimensional um, look at hip hop in history. This looks at generations. This looks at the depth of what are the social issues that really impacted our community. Uh, Nas does it so, so eloquent and so raw and so gritty with it, the way he portrays um, you know, a lifestyle in, in, in Elmatic. For us, it was a really easy choice to make this movie because we felt like this was the one album that connected to our, to our community and our culture and who we are. I mean, we both felt like this is the one album that really stands the test of time and uh, we had to make a movie to really um, tell that story. If you didn't make it here at the Black Star Film Festival tonight to see Time is Elmatic, you'll still have a chance in October to see it either on demand or in theaters, but we encourage you 
um, to please check it out in theaters. Bring your family members, bring people who may understand or may take something away from the, the messages and the themes of Time is Omatic. It's deeper than just a music story. It goes beyond music and explores what, what the conditions were that created the, the music. And in doing so, it tells a story of generations and how we got where we are today. This is Eric Parker, the writer producer of Time is Illmatic. This is One Nine, director producer of Time is Illmatic, and you're watching Real, Real Black. Black. Check it out, RealBlack.com. It's official. Yeah. He gets it in. <laughs> he goes hard. It's gorilla. You get the real stories all day, every day. True culture, indeed. Real Black.